As photographers, we've all done it and by accidentally underexposed our photos. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can fix and recover your underexposed photos in Lightroom. And I'm gonna start right now. Now we've all done it, we've all underexposed our photos. Sometimes you might have done it by accident and other times you might have done it on purpose. For example, I've taken this photo here in Zion National Park and what I've done is I've exposed for the highlights. Again, I've exposed for the sky and the kind of rock on the right hand side, which means most of the photo is really dark. So how can we recover this photo and get a more balanced exposure overall with the highlights and shadows? What I recommend doing is going ahead over to your develop panel, then dropping down to your basics panel. Now what you don't want to do is go to your exposure here and simply brighten that up. Up. Because what they will do is it'll brighten up the overall exposure. Sure, now the blacks are visible, but the highlights look really blown out, so we don't want to necessarily do that. What I recommend doing first is going to your highlights and actually dropping that down, making them ever so slightly darker. Then what I recommend doing is going to your shadows here and bringing those up until you are happy. So I'm going to go for a section like so. It's still not as bright as I want, but now what we're going to do is go to our exposure and bring that up because what we've done is we've actually darkened the highlights, bringing those down and brought up the shadows, bringing out a more even exposure. And we can actually see that now with our histogram. A lot of the information, instead of it being in the black information now, it's actually found in the shadow regions, brightening them up slightly. Now it does look a little bit matty, so what I recommend doing now is going to your contrast slider here and bringing that up. Now, if you're still not happy with the amount of contrast, what you can do is go to your white slider here add in 10 and then go to your black slider here and bring that down by minus 10, bringing a little bit more information in the highlights and shadows. Now with doing so, you might find that your photo becomes very grainy because it was so underexposed, there was a lot of grain found in the shadows and now because you've brought those up, that grain is a lot more dominant. So what you can do, take this photo here as an example, you can see there is a lot of grain in this image. So what I'm gonna do is go out of the basic sliders I'm going to drop down to where you can see it says details and what I'm going to do is go to my manual noise reduction. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and increase my luminance noise reduction as well as my color noise reduction. And then you want to mess around with these sliders until you are happy with the overall result. But sometimes the grain is just too much and it just kind of overall ruins the photo. So what are you going to do then? Well, what I recommend doing is actually leaning into that. Just add in more grain make it look like you've actually done it on purpose instead of by accident. So what I recommend doing is going out of the details panel, dropping all the way down to effects, go to where it says grain, and then just simply go ahead and add in some grain. I'm gonna add in some grain here, make it a little bit rougher. So now when I go and have a look at the overall photo, it looks like I have just added a grain effect instead of it being having, or at least having a lot of ISO noise. Now, if you're still not happy with the overall look, there's one more trick you can do. Simply convert the photo into black and white. That will remove all ISO noise. And I must say, I'm actually really liking it for this photo. Sure, it's not a fix for every photo, but at a last ditch effort, if you're still not happy with the amount of ISO grain because you've underexposed your photo and lifted it up, just convert it to black and white. 